She was one of a kind, the only naval warship to serve in both world wars. A date which will live in infamy. Now she's battling her most serious enemy yet, time. After serving with such distinction in the last century, she deserves nothing less in the next. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, or TPWD, has been challenged with a huge and inspiring endeavor the preservation and protection of the historic battleship Texas. A veteran of both world wars, she is one of a kind as the only remaining dreadnought. In 1948, the battleship was gifted to the state of Texas by the U.S. Navy, and she was secured in a slip on the Houston Ship Channel at the San Jacinto Battleground State Historic Site. Over the last 65 years, this unique National Historic Landmark has been subject to dire environmental and physical threats while resting in the shallow, brackish waters of the ship channel. In 2007, Texas voters approved $25 million to dry berth the battleship, and the project was funded by the Texas State Legislature in 2009. Since that time, TPWD has been persevering to accomplish the studies, surveys, and compliance necessary to construct a dry berth at the Battleship Texas State Historic Site. As mandated by the Texas State Legislature, the dry berth project would achieve three things. First, completion of only those repairs necessary to get the ship into a protected dry berth. Second, design and construction of a dry berth. And third, placement of the ship into the dry berth in a way that is presentable to the public. While conducting the conceptual design, TPWD carried out extensive study and coordination to meet requirements of the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, as well as Section 106 of the National Historic Preservation Act, or NHPA. As part of these two federally required processes, TPWD conducted proactive stakeholder outreach, including a stakeholder workshop, regular consultation meetings as required by NHPA, and a large-scale public open house. TPWD also put out a formal call to the public for design alternatives, and no viable or reasonable alternatives were received. Concurrent to the NEPA and NHPA processes, a conceptual design report for dry berth alternatives was finalized in late 2011. This report revealed two significant findings. Key components of the battleship were in much worse condition than anticipated, and the cost for each of the dry berth concepts greatly exceeded the available budget for the project. TPWD determined that the available budget for the dry berth project was insufficient to fund critical vessel repairs alone, much less the vessel repairs and the construction of a dry berth. TPWD was faced with the need for additional funding to complete the dry berth project. The Battleship Texas is an old ship and is bound to spring leaks now and then, but ship manager Andy Smith says new clusters of leaks developed over the weekend after they already made repairs last week. Saturday we started experiencing some flooding in our blister tanks, which are these outer tanks that were attached to the ship. In June 2012, the Battleship Texas began taking on water at rates as high as 2,000 gallons per minute due to leaks in her fragile hull. In response, TPWD quickly consulted with the U.S. Department of the Navy, the Texas Historical Commission, the Advisory Council on Historic Preservation, and other stakeholders for the dry berth project before making emergency repairs to the ship. The flooding incidents of the summer of 2012 served as a strong reminder that the battleship Texas was in need of extensive structural repairs, whether or not she was placed in a dry berth. 
Now, TPWD is moving forward with additional, critical repairs necessary to preserve the battleship in her current location. A list of prioritized repairs has been developed and the estimated costs for these repairs greatly exceed the funding made available by Texas voters in 2007. TPWD received concurrence from the Legislative Budget Board to use the funding originally allocated for the Dry Birth Project to finance these critical repairs. TPWD will proceed with repairs in order of priority until available funding is exhausted. Ship repairs will work towards stabilizing the Battleship Texas in accordance with the U.S. Department of Interior's standards for historic vessel preservation. Critical components of the internal structure of the ship have severely deteriorated since her days of active service. For example, the ship's two engines, together weighing over 4.4 million pounds, are resting on frames that are approximately 80 to 90 percent deteriorated. The frames supporting the boilers, the steering gear, and the aft emergency diesel generator are also prioritized for replacement due to their critical condition. The remainder of the repairs will be addressed if and when additional funding is provided, and the dry birth project will remain on hold until further funding can be made available. Throughout the repair process, TPWD is committed to taking great care to ensure that the cultural significance of the ship is not compromised. When repairs are complete, there will be very little, if any, changes to the ship that will be visibly identifiable. Also, repairs to the ship will not prevent the future construction of a dry berth. All of the repairs are necessary, regardless of whether the ship stays in her current wet berth or is eventually moved to a dry berth. While design and construction of a dry berth are currently out of reach, TPWD is significantly closer to completing the charge of making necessary repairs required to get the ship into a protected dry berth. Also, TPWD has accomplished significant groundwork to satisfy requirements set forth by NHPA and NEPA that are necessary to move forward with the dry berth project in the future. TPWD is doing everything in their power to achieve the most viable and sound solution for the Battleship Texas, given her condition and the limited funding available. TPWD is committed to protecting and preserving the Battleship, with a long-term goal of providing her with a dry berth. With great honor and determination, TPWD is committed to maintaining the ship, serving as her steward, and planning for her enduring future as a permanent place in history. It's when the guns are firing Thank you.